Oh shit. Yeah, this this dude, she dude, Jill kicking ass is awesome, dude. Uh. Ah shit. <laughs> ah. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I just had a two-hour flashback. That's our situation. Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Damn that blood, dude. And it's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. Yeah, their armor looks similar to those Imperials or those assassins that betrayed After us. You do, huh? That is. I see. So, so that means we're like we were 15 in the prologue and now we are 28 Today. years old because it says 13 years past settled. no dying now if you don't mind we have an army to chase oh shit we're back awoken let's go a hey, rise from your revise all right cool awoken very nice a hey, cool New icon abilities. The icon abilities Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are not available for the vision upgrade. The abilities tab. Got it. Okay, cool. We got new abilities, How baby. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hey, we got some new shit. Hey, we got this stuff. Hey, that's cool. Hey, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. Heat Wave is 120. Flame is a rebirth. Damn, it's a lot. Yeah, somebody mess a pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught the fire. Oh, it also partially restores Clive's HP. Cool. Yeah, Scarlet Phoenix looks pretty cool. So one thing I want to get is Burning Blade. I want to get the cooldown to be gone, please. Yeah, cooldown to be gone. Very nice. Actually, we should have gone. Uh, or maybe. Yeah, now we're good with the jump. Yeah, we only got one jump cancel. And when we upgrade, we'll have two jump cancel. But it's, it's still good. Um, Yeah, but next we'll go for the jump cancel. And then we'll get a heat wave. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And now a burning blade. Um, so yeah, mastery is reduces the time required to imbue blade with fire. That's what the one thing I wanted to get. Um, burning strike, strike an enemy, burning blade on the on the ground, an area of burning blade that's in the air. Um, bonus points are awarded for using battle technique using uh, during arcade mode. Oh, okay. Um, aka devil may cry mode. So that's yeah. We, every time we use different uh, moves, we get more points. Got it. Uh, can break enemies' guard. Will. We'll lift small enemies with an executed in midair, so it's a launcher, basically. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What we got right now? Yep. Yep, like it, like it. All right, here we go. Level 10, let's go. So we level up two. Wait, we're level seven. We level up three times? Hey, let's go. All right. Let's go. Damn, this game still looks even better, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a new... Uh, I forgot to... We got something else, right? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, did it? I think it automatically equipped it for us. Yeah, this is the one thing we got last time, I believe. Yeah. 
Oh, we, we oh we already have Scarlet uh, Sc uh, Scarlet Cyclone. Oh, we do. Oh, okay, okay, we do. Okay. Okay, we do have Scarlet Cyclone already. I got it. Cool, cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, that intro was fucking banger, dude. That intro is a banger. That's how you start a damn video game, dude. Let's go. Very nice. All right, on to Shiva's head, shall we? <laughs> All right, let's let's go. So yeah, uh, there's been 13 years now. So we were 15 in the beginning of uh, the prologue, and now 13 years have passed. So we're 28 years old. So we're in Clive's 20s. All right, this is cool because another good cool thing that's really interesting about the narrative is that we're going to take place in different sections of Clive's life. So we we got the prologue, which was in his teen years, and now it's going to be in his 20s. Damn. R.I.P. My dudes. Let's go. Damn. Yeah, look at the ice, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah, Shiva and the, yeah, the power of the of the icons, Dan. When they battle each other, it's crazy. It is crazy, dude. So yeah, I'm assuming very much well. I'm assuming that um, Clive is is uh, Ifrit for sure. Yeah, and Shiva. Yeah, Shiva looks beautiful, man. Like Shiva looks very beautiful. The word of ice. Those appearance on the battlefield make her enemies bold and run cold. Iron Blood set Shiva against the Republic forces in the Nail Fifty, where she dealt against Titan, the icon of Earth. Yeah, and Titan, the icon of Earth. Yeah, Titan looks so cool. And he's a big boy, dude. He's a big. Yeah, we got the bastards. Brandon Soldier, we got that. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, so our mother betrayed us, huh? And just made us became. Did she make us get branded, or was that our choice? There's a little part of us missing. I'm pretty sure we'll get explained later on. Hey man, our mother betrayed us. What a what a straight up cunt, dude. What a bitch, dude. Like that's his definition of a cunt right there. <laughs> like goddamn, betrayed them, huh? I thought she loved Joshua, dude. Damn. I guess she expected Joshua to survive, but she it kind of like shows she didn't really care even if she, that she, that he died, dude. God damn. All right. Yeah, destruction, dude. Hey, cool, cool, cool. Damn, dude. Did you hear that? Down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Wouldn't you think like probably like if, if Jill turned to Shiva, she could like like defend herself or at least kill them all? Well, that's what I would assume. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's the thing they're using against her. Got it. Okay, that that literally just answered my question. What alvation now, King Alan Scully asked. Damn. Oh, I straight up Jill boss fight. Avis. Oh, I literally Jill boss the boss fight. Gladly. White. Please focus on the target. Oh, I'm sorry. Understood. Oh, oh. Oh, ow. Yo, she has own singer. Sick. 
Yo, sick, sick, sick. Oh! Ah! Ah! Sorry, Joe. Blizzard. Ah. Hey. She's not even fully primed. Damn. Yo, this music, dude. This music kicks ass, dude. Ah. Oh. Ah. I missed. Sorry, Joe. Oh shit. Yeah, this this dude, she dude, Jill kicking ass is awesome, dude. Uh. Ah shit. <laughs> ah. Let's go. Sorry. Ooh. Let's go, dude. Damn it. I didn't expect the Jill boss fight, dude. What? Damn. Alright, alright. Hey, we got some stuff. Hey, let's go. Frozen tear. As she fought, she shed tears of eyes which shattered the blood stain of uh, uh, earth below. Okay. Used in crafting. Ooh. Okay. Another uh, crafting item. Cool. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? <sighs> no. No, that's... Not you. Not here. Oh. I'll bloody do it then. Ooh. Damn. Fuck. Damn the blood, dude. I love it. Company Wyvern. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. Let's rock. Give it to me. Oh. I need you here! 
Oh, I wish that comboed. I think I can. Ah, shit. Maybe I delay a little bit more. I got it. We're dying too fast. Game round two. Come on. Now that that's done, I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Sorry, can't do that. That's a waifu. I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we turn it to hand it. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. Ow! I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Why but ah. have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name? Hey. When you had none? Speak as if you don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still oh, shit. Past like a torn blanket. But you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. Yes, you will. Ow! Ow! My man. Ah, I try to take a period. This time. Ah! Do it. I dare you. Let's go. All right, that works too. Traitor's blade. Hey, let's go. I try to uh, see if I can parry. Every time I, I Phoenix shift, I let go of my burning blade, but it seems that it doesn't work that way. Or at least, um, because I'm trying to let go. Uh, I Phoenix shift and then do burning blade, but there's a timing to it. So I can't just I can't just let go right away because then it won't uh, it won't trigger it. Hey, we got some more materials. Let's go. Yeah, I need to figure out when to uh use it exactly. I gotta delay a little bit, a little bit more. It's a little bit. Sorry, right, buddy. I got I can't do it. It's the waifu. I'll do anything for the waifu. Anything. I got him. It's okay, Clyde. We got this. Oh, 
Oh, look, it's Targo. <laughs> I see you make an entrance. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. I guess his name is still Wyvern. Targo doesn't recognize us? Oh, I'm a little hurt. I'm a little hurt. Targo, come on. I, I thought you would have already recognized us. <laughs> hey. Hugo, dear. My proud desert lion. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty titan. Put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. Is she talking about her puh? <laughs> the thunder. Is she talking? I'm assuming she's talking about herself, right? <laughs> she's the price. Work to do. I like this so far, dude. <laughs> Jill, is it really you? When do you know that a lot that many people with uh gray hair? Silver hair, I mean. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Oh. Well, then. Just like that. Mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. I am. Clive Rosfield. You know who we are. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now we're on the other. Damn, hand, I'm hurt. <laughs> you seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. What oh. <laughs> the? One of those moans. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. I'm surprised Cloud just knew that was Torgo right like right away. I would have thought it'd be a more happy reunion or Torgo will be jumping and crying for us and stuff like that. I would have thought a happy much a happier reunion. Just saying, Clive. Uh, it was kinda like a bittersweet <laughs> or anticlimactic, you know? <laughs> Straight up. 
okay. The highway, the hideaway. Okay, yo. Okay, so this is where we. Yeah, this is our old, old place. Yo. Zoom out. Ah, okay, got it. Oh shit. Okay. This is the world map. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. This is cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Went to go get a drink and then uh, made myself something to eat because I got kind of hungry. <laughs> uh, but now we're here. I don't know why I'm telling you this because, well, you know, let you into my life. But you know, <laughs> I literally went to go get like a Red Bull uh, and then I got kind of hungry. So I made myself something to eat. Anyway, let's continue. So, the hideaway. Central station of uh, Deadlands. The withering remnants of once Verdant Valley long consumed the by the blight. One would have either one would be either full extremely foolish or extremely desperate for an extremely desperate fool to make this wasted land their home. And I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, so far the pacing and everything is really good. It's really good. I'm enjoying this a lot. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. I'm assuming he plays uh Death Stranding, huh? He's a big fan of Death Stranding, huh? <laughs> Carrying John on his on his back. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. Hey, it looks nice though. Looks pretty good. He's branded, but it was that not rendered or what? These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. Was that burnt? But how do you survive without magic? Yeah, they're all branded. Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here. Believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will. Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on, have a look around. I'll be in my solo. Hide. Hide away. Ah, the local map. Press pad opens the map. Recurrent area, main scenario destinations are marked with the uh, red mark. Got it. Ooh. Hey, okay. Local map. Okay, holding is this. Got it. Hey, hey, hey. The Fallen. Ancient and highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the lengths of the breadth of Valcelia. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel. It cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of the modern day and elected of the build inside the round of them themselves. The Deadlands. Okay. Uh Sidolphus. Sidolphus. What a name, right? Sidolphus. Sidolphus. So cool. Alright, uh Conquered by the Battle of the Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the nice defy Clapdot 
His end was nigh until Sid appeared and sp uh, spirited him, him and Jill away from his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Cool. Sahara. Yeah, she, she, oh yeah, so it is kind of burnt. She has the um, branded mark, but it looks burnt. Or she has it off, I guess. Resistance, uh, psyker of Sid's hideaway. Taha is an expert in, in all manner of med medicine and medical intervention skills that are ind indispensable in their Deadlands home where they cannot call healing magic kicks. And after Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to the Nefer Divide, place into Tarka's care. Got it. Cool, 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 cool. Magic kicks. Got it. Cool. Hey, this is cool. This is cool. Hey, hello. How we doing? So... You reckon he's a soldier, then? Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Oi. What do you mean? Is this our... Oh, we can't access it. <laughs> I really... I just wanted to go to the training right away. I know that's a train area. Hey! You're still hungry, are you? Might have some out round here. Cute. Hello. How are we doing? It seems everyone here is branded here. Are you so mean? When it doesn't seem like everybody's branded. But it seems this place is mostly like occupied with people who are branded. Hello. Uh, another newcomer. That's me. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Huh. Okay. What well, you what you did. Okay. And there's a hideaway. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, what did I say? Chocobo did I say? The fat chocobo the fat chocobo? Hey! A fat chocobo? Wash them floors all mended then. It'll hold. A fat chocobo. Hey, that's from Final Fantasy 14, right? There. Hello, gentlemen. How we doing? Alright, this place looks pretty nice. Have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely, are we, August? What's that? When lightning struck, his yoke did break. His life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. You. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Oh, oh the truck was over there. <laughs> Fat chocobo. <laughs> Fat chocobo up there. I was lied to. Oh, is he the fat chocobo? Oh, I thought it was literally a fat chocobo. <laughs> literally thought it was a fat chocobo <laughs> from Final Fantasy 14 and 15. I guess that's just what his thing is. His, his old place is called. Got it. I was mislead. Not gonna lie. Mislead for sure. All right, whatever. <laughs> I was mislead for sure. All right. Simi Messi. Where Sid is. is. That where Jill is. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, I guess we can't go in there yet. Wait, what's over here? I didn't check over here really quick. Bah. For uh, frame drops here and there. Just a little annoying. Ooh. Looks nice. Can we go for a swim? Sid once told me. The blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Okay. Oh yeah, he wasn't kidding there. Hey, it's a Moogle! Hey, cute! <laughs> it's a Moogle. See, I know Final Fantasy lore. I know Final Fantasy stuff. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I actually wasn't born a slave, actually. Actually, was not. Leave me be. Not 
until you've had your medicine. Hey. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? Kids are a little ungrateful. I could just like launch you guys. Even the kids are branded. So yeah, I guess when they're born, they're branded when they're infants, I believe. Because the guy said you were born a, you know, a slave. That's what I'm assuming. Huh. Damn. I wanna know how Clive got branded. Did he just like when he joined when he was uh, the soldiers in the Imperial, did he just did he just branded him just like that? I assume. Howdy. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Alright. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl. Then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants. Then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Look at that wine. My God. I look good. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil swing. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. <laughs> Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. 
<laughs> Have fun, he says. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure we're the one that murdered Joshua. I'm pretty certain. Okay. I'm pretty certain. Pretty sure we'll get revealed later on. Or maybe not. We'll see. We do fight a. We do fight Ifrit, you know? We're Clive, but I guess we'll see. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Our Smith guy? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Okay, thank you. You're big, goddamn. Hey, I got a key. Right, what's up? Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Why are you so mean? So. Okay. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Alright. Forging. A crafting of new gear as well as upgrading the existing gear can be done at a smithing black a blacksmith. As long as you have the recipe for proper materials like the highlighted item, you can list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Okay, very nice. This is the upgrade. Alright. Equip. Nice. And the bell sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Okay. Notice, uh, when something has changed in the highway, notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Additional to stock updates for Karen's Toll, a new forge recipe for the Black Hammer. I also notice for the new quests, new mi uh, missiles, new many other things. A uh, icon will appear in the in-game as well as the local map to indicate recent updates. Cool! I suppose I should thank Goots. Hey, you got some new stuff. <laughs> see I'm busy, yeah? What do you want? Ah, to upgrade our brand and sword. Yeah, I a reinforce is a plus one to get a plus one and to get that. Got it. Okay. Oh, we could get this iron belt plus two. Not my best work, but it'll do. Hey, cool. <laughs> Not my best work, but I'll, it'll do. Okay. To craft a new uh, broad sword. Okay, I'm almost, I'm, I almost have the material. Okay. Okay. Else? Can I buy stuff? I don't think I can buy stuff. Can I buy stuff from, from someone? What about Karen? Hey. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, I'm ready. The gift worked. You have my thanks. <laughs> Come on, nearly there. <laughs> you, blankets, quick as you like.
Hey, isn't he the same, um, guy from 13 years ago? We might get comfortable while a bed's made up. Well, you just gonna stand there? Some old face some water. I'll get the bucket. Some water? You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? What the hell have I got myself into? I know, right? This was just an action game, but we gotta do RPG stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Or at least that's what I think he is. The same slave okay. that was in our home. Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taria. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Taria? Oh, that's how you pronounce that. That was Tarka. Tarka. It's Taria. My bad. It's Taria, the one looking after Jill. Yeah, 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 maybe we can see waifu. Go, go, go. I wonder how we unlock sprinting. Maybe, oh, hey. Maybe further on, maybe. Your friend needs her rest. Oh. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. Okay. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, I was gonna, you just, yeah. I did say so. Mean. Is he gonna make it? Or might be just might be just the same model as um the one slave that we met earlier. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. Her model reminds me of someone. It might be uh if the Final Fantasy fourteen character from or the Final Fantasy fifteen collab. Right, the collab with the um, F F fourteen collab, that one uh, cat lady with red hair. What's her name? I forgot her name. <laughs> that it, that, that was, that's what she reminds me of. I think it's the hair and the way the hair looks. So many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? Otto? Me. Otto Octavius? Well, I do need some supplies. Do Not, I don't really need it, but you know. Then Lady Karen over there ah. will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. likely. I won't be oh, staying. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. We won't forget it. I mean, I just went to get uh help. I didn't really did do anything, but you're pretty. You're very welcome. <laughs> Side quest unlock. Hey. Okay. A side quest. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. In any case, they have a quest to offer. Get it. To do. Are there any quests? Quest objective up here at the do list located on the right side of the screen. Objective with the red marker. Main scenario. Uh, there are up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Okay. okay. Quest priority. Uh, any quest can be prioritized at the journal. Yeah, you got it. Uh, RPG stuff. What? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. As always. Don't think I haven't noticed oh, you stealing sips from that pot. Oh, that's Otto. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get, let's get this this quest before we talk. Go up upstairs. Oh, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. Hey, 500 girl. Hey, will you help, will you help keep the fat chocobo running? Sure. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. 
I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. <laughs> Got it. Quest accepted. All right. Cool. That, that reminds me a little bit of the... Um... Oh yeah, I just put that in my pocket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the same kind of font they used for FF14, I believe. There you go, buddy. Let me just get that out of my pocket. Oh, my thanks. Not gonna lie, looks kind of like shit. It cannot be Ignis's cooking from uh, Final Fantasy 15. That's fact. That is a straight up fact. All right, nothing can be Ignis Ignis's cooking. All right. Left me half His food is. Beautiful. Just took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Didn't want your life story, but whatever. Here you go. Place bolt. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. Your new I still say Ignis is looking better. Just say. A ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Okay, one more. Yeah, the the UI for that uh, side quest and stuff reminds me of FF14. So much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, That's a big book. <laughs> just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. Life sounds good. His voice actor sounds That's really nice. Is. I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume. Yes. Splendid. And give me the reward, please. Bearers, all three of them. Not Isn't everybody here? Upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community equality. is founded. Beyond these walls. We are scorned as slaves, speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free, truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Okay. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Oh, I'll try. <laughs> hey, quest complete. Let's go. Good for that. We get a lot of money. Hey, some XP. Hey, hey, nice. We have enough to make the new sword. Cool. The good thing we did the, the side quest. Can I... Treasure conference, uh, oh yeah, okay. Yep, no, no, no about that, thank you. Give me that. Ugh. Hey. Is that a new, um... New thing? Oh no, this is so, uh, no, this is, yeah, this is new. Increased defense by 10. Yeah, these I'm able to equip easily, because, you know, it just, uh... Just, uh... Increases defenses, it increases attack points, stuff like that. That, I do not mind. But these timely accessories never gonna equip them. Never. We're almost there. The What's this over here? Shut up, shut up. Oh, they just play music. Uh background music playing the hideaway can change by pressing. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Okay, I acquire it through uh during the main scenario. Okay. Cool. I think this guy up there is the lore guy. Right? 
talks about lore and stuff? I think so. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. All right, that's, that's a name. Uh... <laughs> that's a name. <laughs> Quite yep. a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. Are you Tomes and then? What varied company? I am a collector, you see, not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Sure, I guess. Uh, view the Thousand Tomes. Yeah, this is just about lore, right? I have some new entries, if you would like to see them. Yeah, lore. Yep, 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 yep. An active pass. Yeah, like it's all about lore and stuff. New hey, that might interest you. That's so cute. Hey, nice. Updates at tomb. Okay. What subject shall we consider today? Hey. Yeah, pretty much. We could search. Search by key. What? Keyword. Persons of interest. What? Yo, this is so deep. Wow. I mean, I knew that we had like active time lore and stuff like that, but I didn't expect like all this. Dude, straight up lore, dude. Yo. Literally, yeah, like all the lore stuff that we've seen. Yeah, the life force of the hand, the force of all magic, yeah, not so. Yeah, just literally all lore stuff. That is so cool. Magic. Yeah, you, it tells you how magic works, etc. Priming the act of Adama transforming their living flesh. Okay, that's so cool, dude. That is so cool. Person of interest. This is just characters. Oh my god. This is awesome, dude. This is awesome, this bitch. Uh, first encounter. Oh, it tells you all everything like that. That's awesome, dude. Donovan. And it, related topics. Priming. Donovan. Icon. Priming. Donovan. Magic. That's so cool, dude. Literally, if you want to catch up on, like, on a story, you're confused about something, just look up the lore and you're good. That's so cool. And Jill. Okay. After the fall of Phoenix, here we go. Born in Princess. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the same. Oh, here we go. Who came to. Uh, yeah, yeah. When she waved the brothers farewell to the day they departed in the Phoenix Gate, little did she know of the misfortune that awaited both them and her. Them and the Shiva, a clash childhood friend, in the depths of the nice man who too came blows at it. Others, this is this. She'll find to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom, Clive away in the orders. Okay, this is what happened. Okay. That's so cool. There's a lot of. This is really surprising. I didn't really think. I mean, I knew that there was lore stuff you could catch up on lore and stuff, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. This is really cool, dude. Really cool. Dragoon. Oh, lore on Dragoon. On freaking Fallen Fantasy classes, dude. That's so cool. This is very cool. Oh, yeah, bro. On top, this is the thing that's happening right now. And the things you want to search up. That is. Obvious. Did you learn everything you needed? Not everything, but I learned some cool stuff. This game is awesome. <laughs> this game is awesome, dude. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's one more side quest all the way at the corner over there. Howdy. Oh, not you. Howdy. <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I get zero gold. Then what's the point of me doing this? <laughs> what's the point of I getting no gold? <laughs> oh, thank you. You'll be helping me. I better get some XP or some budget. shit. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. 
Eh, not really. Can say that again. The fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Hey. Make you a mint. Cool. I get zero kill for this. What's the point, man? <laughs> I get zero kill for this shit. The heck? Hey, Targo. You. I need some wood. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. And he can't do that himself? He can't do this himself? And put this in my pocket? Here we are. Yep, let me just put that in my pocket. Very nice. <laughs> Jeffrey, was it? Jeffrey, I got your planks. Here you go, sir. I don't know why you cannot do that yourself. You better give me some XP or something, because I swear to God, I'll, I'll stinger you so hard. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. That's what she said. Sorry. Will this be enough? Here you go. Let me just get, this get from my pocket. <laughs> With a luck, the walls won't RPG stuff, you know. <laughs> That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. What is There's it? no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Item? Crafting item? Or money. No money. XP. Alright, crafting. Oh, can we trade it for gill? Oh, gill bug. Okay. Alright, well I guess we got some gill, I guess, from from that. from that. Before we go there, we could actually have enough to make the new sword. Look at sir. Well, so I need, uh, crafting. Yes. Could last you a good while. Reinforce. Hey, you could do that now. Yeah, that should do you. Cool. Hey, Karen. Or Karen. Karen. Sorry. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <laughs> Clive. <laughs> well, Clive. Clive. I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Let's see some coin. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, shops. Got it. We could have bought the sword instead of making it. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, we could have bought the sword. My god. Bruh. <laughs> okay, I guess. Fucking like stupid. <laughs> we could have fucking bought the sword. Okay. Um, well, we could get this. Right? Yeah, You're better defense. Blind, you know. I reckon I can find a buyer. Uh, what else could I sell? I could sell this one? Yeah. You got out else? Can I see the timely accessories? <laughs> uh, these materials. Uh, we're kind of good on that. We could. Nah, I mean, man, I mean, I'm not even gonna use them. I'm just saying. <laughs> we might most likely use them. But yeah, I just realized that we could have bought the uh, broadsword, but 
Thank you. That's what I remember. That's all. I guess making it, crafting is a lot cheaper. I mean, we don't really use that much. We don't even really use money to craft. So I think that's better that we craft it instead of buying it. Now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right. I can make an exception. <gasps> Just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and oh. I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. I thought she was leading me into the training room. <laughs> Thank me. Thank you, dog. No. <laughs> nice. Collect supplies. Okay. I thought she was leading me into the training room. <laughs> I really thought. Oh, she did, technically. Oh, she did. Thank you, Sparta. Oh, let's go. <laughs> yes. The art system is now accessible. Uh, this customized virtual battle skull provides Clive in a safe location to test out ability. Yeah, training mode, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of them is the arcade mode, aka Devil May Cry mode. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's test out some stuff. Let's have some fun. Let's see what we could do, right? Yeah, training mode. Yep. You got it. Nice. Shit, I can't. It doesn't reach. I think if we have extreme lunge, it'll work. Then we have extreme launch that will work, because that's the combo I tried to do earlier. Or if I... Alright, let's see. Oh, he dodges uh, backwards automatically. Okay, got it. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, okay, we could combo to the... We could combo that if we, um... <clears throat> if we dodge forward. But I'm pretty sure we have extreme launch. We don't have to dodge at all. So there's a way for me to do, uh, can I look at the, my, yeah, I can. Yeah, Phoenix ship. So there's a way for me to do the aerial shift strike, or at least aerial shift shot, land an aerial ship shot in the air. So that's when they're in the air. There we go. See, that's the aerial ship shot. Got it. Okay. Yep, I oh, got it. Whoa. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm getting a little good. Right, shut up. There's a reach. Got it. Alright, I got the combo. I can finish him off with the area combo, but he doesn't have not that much health for me to do anything else. There you go. You know, simple, simple combos here and there, you know? Hey, look at that. Look at that. We got combos. Hey, we got combos. Look at that. Some simple combos here and there. We got it. Then that kills him right away. <laughs> Simple combos here and there. It's cool. It's cool. I, I like that we have this uh this training. 
I like it. I like it. Hope once we get more moves, we'll definitely come back here and, and uh, test out more stuff here and there. Yeah, we got we got a few simple combos here and there. Makes sense because we have very little moves, but even still, You're very well nice. I am actually. Mm. Leaving already, are you? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Okay, let's go. Fast travel. Thank you. You can't pet the dog yet? Oh shit. <laughs> can't pet the dog. Dog yet. Oh, we just got fast travel? Oh, that's actual lore. Torgo, we got some stuff on Torgo. Yeah, Clive's faithful friend, not fully grown after the tragic events of the Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgo was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again. Some 13 years later, Torgo's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the nice defy. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since the separation. Yeah, they literally acted like very casual about it. <laughs> very casual. 